How many of you, if you're honest with me, do you know you have these, these choices and these areas in your life that you want to try to move towards? You know that you want to try to change. You know you want to face some of these struggles, but fear sometimes paralyzes you. Anybody in here? Yeah, man, I've learned in my journey that I have to skydive that thing. And here's what I mean. I know sometimes, as when I was growing up, I didn't trust anybody. I know I, things have happened to me. My dad abandoned me. I isolated. And I always said, if I find the perfect person that I can count on, if I find the perfect person that I can trust, then I will. But the truth is that person's not here. People are people and they're going to let you down. I've learned I can't put my trust and my, my confidence in the people, but it's in the, it's in the process. You ain't never afraid to be by yourself. You ain't never afraid to be by yourself. Say you ain't afraid to be by yourself. Say you ain't afraid to be by yourself. You don't need a man, you do it by yourself. Good morning, family. Good morning, my loves. My name is Audrey Renee. If you are new to my channel, welcome to another weekly vlog. So, it is currently 7.25. I've been up since 5 this morning, and something told me to put on some clothes. I thought I was just going to drop Aiden off today at school, because today... Ooh, Today was, today is his first day of school. So I thought I was just going to drop him off and then come home and start editing videos. However, I am finna head to Hammond and go pick up a sleep mat, a nap mat, nap mat, um, because Hammond is the closest one they have. And I was going to order it off of Amazon, but then I was like, oh, what if my baby's sleeping on the floor? So, I'm pretty sure nap time is like 12 or something like that, 11, 12-ish. It's going to take me like 40 minutes to get to Hammond. It's currently 725, so I'm going to make it there at 8, and I should be back by 9. Well, at least that's the intentions in my head. Um, I also have to get him a book, a book bag, but I wanted Aiden to come pick out his own book bag, so I'll probably wait until he gets out of school for me to actually go get him a book bag, um, so he can pick out his own book bag, and I need to get him a folder, so I'm gonna go get those two things, and then, and I need to go get some gas before we not make it anywhere. Um, and then drop that stuff off to him, come home, edit some videos, and I need to clean up while Aiden is at school and do some job applications. So that is going to be on my agenda for today while Aiden is at school. I really need an oil change too. That's what I really need to go do, but we're going to have to wait to do that. So. Oh man, y'all. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast and you know what you want. At this time, don't worry. Hope you know what you want.
We just went with green. Um, I feel really sick, y'all. I feel really sick. Maybe because I haven't ate yet. And I've been up since 5 this morning. I'm about to go drop this off. Then go home and go get me something to eat. And I was going to stop at Chick-fil-A. But I'm trying to budget. So how to eat what I got at the house. I need to learn how to make eggs. Um... I'm going to drop this stuff off and then go home and start editing these videos. Good morning, family. It is almost like 6.30, I'm going to say. Um, I haven't woke Aiden up yet. I've actually been up since like 5, like 5.30. I was just laying in the bed. But he has to be dropped off no later than 9. So... I'm about to get him up. We're going to go to Target. I can actually hear him moving around now. We got to go to Target because I forgot I bring a party tomorrow. So I need to go by Target, get some treats for his party, and then drop that off. And then after that, I'm going to go work out for this 9 o'clock class. Um, that's why I'm dropping him off like around 8-ish, 7.30-ish, 8-ish. Um, so I can go to this class. And then I'm going to go probably back by Target later on and make Aiden a, get some stuff to make Aiden a basket. Um, yeah. Come home, eat. I'm going to get a banana while I'm out. Just to like, put something on my stomach. I'm gonna turn on Gracie's Corner, Pandora Station. And that's what we ride to in the morning. That's what we could get dressed to. Um, Cause I like listening to music, but this is some kids music. And then when I pick them up, I put it back on. Cause I know it ain't gonna have no cuss words in it. And it's educational, so that's always a pleasure.
vloggy vlog. Y'all, it is like 2.30. And I had to come and take me a nap after I left the gym this morning because that was a workout, honey. That was an extreme workout and it wore me all the way out. Oh. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all all up in my face. Okay. Okay, like I was saying, um, that workout this morning wore me all the way out. All the way. And I was so exhausted. I came, I showered. I'm still tired. Um, but I feel accomplished. I think I feel accomplished because it's so it's so freaking bright. Like my goodness. Wow. Um, because I did get it done so early. This is my second day going early, so Kudos to me. I do want to go get some groceries, but I don't really want to, to be honest. I don't really want to. But I do know I need to get some hangers for me and Aiden. And then I seen this good, this cool idea to turn, um, you know, the little bookcase, the little bookshelf into a organizer so i think i'm gonna see if they have a gray one because i did order i was gonna say did i even bring my phone i did order aiden his bed and his mattress um i'm so excited to put that together and just to get it I should have went with the white. I really should have. I should have went with the white because I feel like it would have been easier for me to find more stuff when it comes to me finding white items. Um, I was trying to see if I can cancel my order and get it in white because I ordered it in gray. Only because I know Aiden likes to draw on stuff and I don't have time. But it won't let me edit the order. So we just gonna have to get it in the one that we got it in. Um which is no biggie. It was like a let me see, three sixty five minus $51 difference, um, but I can't even change it, so, it's cool, it's cool, it's just when I try to find, like, stuff, I know I can easily go inside of a store and find something white, um, to put in his room, and if I wanted to, like, use white, like, white is just so versatile, and the way that it is, could I don't know. I don't know. I might. I might still cancel it and then just go ahead and order it in white. Um, we just gonna have to. We just gonna see. But I'm gonna go buy Smoothie King first, and then we're gonna go buy Target. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my duvet cover from the Casalina and the duvet cover set from them. But I still don't even have a bed yet. Um, so, I don't know. Then we're going to go buy Home Goods and Ross and Marshall. See if we can find anything in, out of there. Like a little desk or something. A little table for Aiden or something. Um, and a mirror if they have it. And then I need to get some hangers. Um, and I need to get a shower. 
curtain, but <sighs> I'm not really too worried about that because I do need to get groceries. So, and that's it. That's all that we got planned for today. So, I will let y'all know or check back in with y'all later. Okay, family, we are back. <clears throat> I'm back and I'm better. And we're about to go to Home Goods and Ross. And then Tarjay is like literally, <clears throat> literally right down the thing. And I'm also going to try to go by Michael's. Yeah. Michael's. Because I don't think uh, Baton Rouge has a, um, like a homeschool store. Like a homeschool supply store. And then... Okay, wait, wait. I'm going to go by Michael's into the homeschool supply store if they have one. Because y'all are, if y'all been following me, then y'all know I was homeschooling Aiden. And even though he's in pre-K right now, every time that I ask him what he learned today at school, he always tells me he don't know. So I don't know if he's saying that because he really just don't remember or he just don't feel like engaging in conversation. <clears throat> so once he get from school, like I try to do an hour with him with his learning because I don't want, first of all, I only do an hour and I know that might seem like a lot, but hear me out. I don't want to not be proactive in Aiden's life, in Aiden's development. Um, but I know schools have a lot more patience than I do. So we are going over right now fundamentals, how to write your name, making sure that you know how to spell your name, and he knows how to spell his name. However, with D's, he get it mixed up, and he still don't know how to identify all of his letters. So, we need to work on the identification of letters. Um, and whatever lesson that they're going over, like whatever lesson, whatever letter that they're going over in school, I'll pick that letter back up to make sure that he knows how to do it. Um, but really focusing on making sure he can identify the letters to his name. Um, so, that's that. But, when it comes to us like incorporating learning, if y'all do remember, I did pick up a playing preschool book and it gives you like fun activities to do throughout the week to keep the kids really involved and those only last like 15 minutes so it probably won't even take a full hour but just give it set inside like 45 minutes to an hour to work on Aiden's education with me and me being involved in his education because I'm hoping that if he sees that I'm involved and I care about his education, it will make him want to talk to me more about his education in school and stuff. Um, that's that. And then I just want to just be able to be there when my baby grows. So that's why we're going to get some stuff for the playing preschool. But I need to figure out which activity since... I just thought about this. Um, which activity I want to start with? Hmm. I could wait for Aiden to do that, but I don't know. But then see, go by Michaels to see if they have the little, like, letter boards. Um, the little learning center things to help him better identify and put those things up on the wall in his room. So that he can identify his letters and things. So, that is that. I feel like I needed to say something else, but I really do not remember.
I'm going to try to make a lasagna. And I kind of want to order some stuff from HelloFresh. And I need to get some nonstick pans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds about that sounds about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's 345. We have until 445 to get this stuff knocked out. And I just don't feel like getting out the car. This is called pure laziness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, once Aiden gets home and we knock all this stuff out, knock his schoolwork and stuff out, we'll have 15 minutes of doing something that he wants to do. So, however he wants to play and wants me to be interactive with him, he'll have... I feel like we should do 30, 45 minutes. But they say at a minimum 15 minutes. Yeah, I got that from Peer and TikTok. This first time mom stuff, like, it is really a learning experience. It's like trial and error. So shout out to the moms who just got it right. They first time, like, you just, you just had it instilled inside of your body. I'm not going to pretend like I had it instilled inside of my body. I am definitely a parent who is breaking generational curses and who is working through or healing through childhood trauma so that I could be a better mom. So I could be the type of mom that I um, desire to have and be as proactive in my son's life as I desire for my parents to have. Um, that's where I'm at. There are other people who had very active parents, and y'all did a whole bunch of kumbaya stuff, and they was very nurturing and loving and caring, so you just naturally picked up those skills where I was taught, don't show emotions, you know, it wasn't too much affection um shown so like you're you're working through these things and then like it wasn't really no time spent like I had my sister to play with I had my siblings to play with so me spending time with my parents is always like go go play go find something to do stay in the kids place yada 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 I don't want that I don't want that type of relationship with my baby. Uh, I want us to have, I want us to have quality time together. And I want him to know that I'm very much involved in his life and want to be involved. And not just the things that I want him to do, but the things that he wants to do, the things that he enjoys doing. I want him to like build up that confidence with him, especially at the age that he's at now. And I guess it, kind of, it does kind of suck because I wish like, I wish I would have been further along in my process um, while he was still younger and taking more advantage of the times that we have, but I can't dwell on the past. I can just continue to work towards being a better mom and being more proactive. And during this time, no electronics, phones down, put it in another room, and Aiden gets that undivided attention. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so let me go ahead and go inside this store because y'all know I be procrastinating this is thought of walking mm, let me not say that because there are some people out here who not even walking and they wish that they can walk let me be grateful for the legs and the ability to walk mm -mm. Mm -mm. I need to shake this laziness for real I really do like this is sad this is really, really sad of me. Mm -mm. All right, let me go. My stomach low key starting to hurt.
stranger It's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you me this cloud It's all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Use you on you
fuck a chick bank, time to bounce. Gotta count on my allowance. You niggas bitches, so I gotta rebound it. The nigga drippin' like I got a Z and dollars. Got the trap jumpin' like time when I'm free. Then I'm out, then I'm out. Then I never talk about it. The homie squad, but we all smoke the lobs. Rich niggas in the middle of being modest. Cause the way I do my deals, never treated like I bought a smoking house. You could DM my account. My DM six figures in them count. Nine figures was the gold till I hit the D. Niggas ain't living so bury mine with me. Off the when I die, put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, I love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money, I done gave it. Wants to do paint. Hey say it again. Hey you gotta say it loud so they can hear you. Hey God, I don't understand why when I tell him he has to say it louder, he just makes his voice deeper. Like, what? Hey guys, welcome to the video. There you go, buddy. So, luckily, I didn't go to Michael's already. Yeah, so we're about to go to Michael's, go get some stuff to do some painting, and uh, we gotta go get some material. <sighs> I want the Sonic one. I need to go over in that area anyways to pick up something from, um, I up the, the get some craft cheese for the... Skittles out. Okay, pick the Skittles up. Where you want to oh, get? Aiden, don't make a mess in your hands. We gotta go. We gotta get out the car still. You don't wanna be dirty. Oh no, love. I'm oh, no, dirty. Um. So yeah, we're finna go to Michael's and then I tried to see if they had some. Um, y'all don't mind the, the bags in here. That's the stuff from Target. I tried to see if they had some, like a table, or if I was gonna have to order it off of Amazon. And I'm about to go by Office Depot because I know Office Depot usually have like little tables for kids. So I'm gonna go by there. It is 78 degrees, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go. You go to Daddy on Friday. Today is Wednesday. Okay. Sunday. Yeah, you're gonna be with him on Sunday too. Oh, uh, see if they got a little table for him. Oh, baby, I'm tired. Jeez, Louise. But 
let me go ahead and go inside or dry the Michaels and do what I need to do. I probably won't bring y'all inside the store because I got watch? Aiden and trying to tote a camera and make sure Aiden's not getting into anything. Be your task.